United lose yet another game. Another game away from home, which we really do struggle in. But boy, those first 30 minutes were good. Yet again, United show up for the first 30 minutes. They go toe-to-toe with this Bayern team. We should have been ahead. Yet again, we don't take our own chances. And then we give away sloppy goals at the other end. A goalkeeper mistake for the first one. And then the second one then, they were all brown in Musiala for it. But I thought Dalo did okay. But then it's just shocking defending. You're just leaving Nabri in our own six-yard box completely unmarked. Exactly the same as the Brighton one. We're conceding goals left, right and centre. And that's the main problem now. In football at the minute, we talk so much about how good the press is. Whether you're going to use inverted fullbacks in possession, all that jazz. But this talk about how simple mistakes are being made by this United team. Week in, week out, and we're not seeing any improvements. The midfield has to really take um, some blame for it. Because we're simply just not marking runners. But the defence is not much better either. The sooner we get the likes of Varane, Mount, Amrabat back into this squad, the better. Because at the minute, we're really struggling and it's hard to see where we're really going to improve. But I'm going to go for my five token points from it, guys. As always, drop a like if you enjoy and subscribe if you're new around you. So my first token point, guys, has to be that defending. As I've said, we were in that game. We were doing pretty well in that first 30 minutes. Obviously, the Onana one, that's not really on any of the defending. I'm going to talk a little bit more about Onana later on. But that second goal, once again, was completely avoidable. If four cutbacks now, United just don't know how to defend them. Once again, you've got Casemiro and Eriksson not tracking runners. But then you've also got the centre-backs not marking effectively either. So it's just a whole bundle of errors. And it's essentially, I was going to say championship level defending. But it's probably even lower than that. It's League 1, League 2 standard. And we're getting cut apart by teams so regularly now. We conceded four goals this time. Obviously, it could have been more. United, we seem to, yes, we, we do well quite in the pressing. We win the ball high up a few times. But when that doesn't happen, when we've actually got to defend our own box, we look absolutely clueless. So many of this United team, once again, doesn't show up in the defensive phases. And that's the biggest problem for Ten Hag right now. And then secondly, I think a big problem for United at the minute is going to be that midfield pivot. And I'm going to picture Eriksson here. Because I think he is the main problem currently in United's midfield. Last season, we saw the midfield of Bruno, um, Casemiro and Eriksson work pretty well. This season, though, is, is clearly just not working. Eriksson was just getting run past as if he just wasn't even there. Casemiro's not much better at the minute, but at least he does a little bit of defending. Eriksson, you might as well have no one in there if you're going to play him in that midfield pivot currently. In these big games, we said it last season, and we're being found out time and time again this season, you just can't play him there. Obviously, Ten Hag at the minute has his hands tied behind his back because who else do you play there? McTominay's not as seemingly a defensive midfielder anymore. People talk about him playing for the badge, but I've seen him lose the ball in the last 20 minutes and completely just give up on it. He'd only just come on the pitch. I saw mistakes from him in the defensive um, phase up against Brighton. This talk about McTominay playing for the badge is pretty much bullshit for me. But Eriksson, as I've said, is, is not really his fault. It's never been his game. But we need more energy in there. And that's why I've said about Mount and Amrabat already. Well, Mino is another one as well. We desperately need those players in this squad right now. Because without them, there's no sense of United really improving currently. We don't know how to defend their own box. And a large part of it is that midfield just not helping our defence at all. Currently, this midfield isn't working. I, for one, would even prefer Dan Gore playing in this midfield right now. I've seen enough of him during pre-season to think he's a very decent player. He's on the bench. Why not actually play him? Eriksson is giving you nothing at the minute. Ten Hag needs to do something different. And thirdly, guys, Onana. Obviously, people are going to be wanting to jump on him after that mistake for that first Bayern goal. And it did really open the floodgates for Bayern. For me, I'm not going to pounce on Onana just yet because I don't think he's done bad in a United shirt. Far from that. I think his passing has been excellent. I think his overall game has been pretty good so far. This is the first real glaring mistake that he's done for United, so we can't jump on him just yet. But for me, he's very, very low on confidence right now. You can see that in his game. His passing is good, but the rest of it just isn't there. 
He doesn't come off his line like he normally did with Inter Milan. He seems like David De Gea at times, stuck on his line when the opposition are running through. I don't know what's happening. And then his shot stopping is clear to see that there's just a little bit of a lack of confidence in his game at the minute. He obviously has to improve, but he's still very early days into his United career, so I'm not going to judge him too harshly just yet. And next up, I want to talk a little bit about Marcus Rashford, and I've been critical of him in recent weeks for the lack of work rate in defence, and it was clear to see in that game up against Brighton. But yet again, you play him in his best position on the left wing, and he's United's best attacking outlet. You take him out of this team right now, and who's going to do the attacking side of the game? Without Rashford, there's no one taking on their man. There's no one providing that little bit of a spark. Fernandez has been completely missing during the, um, the start of this season. Without Rashford, we won't be doing anything in that attacking side. And I thought his defensive side of the game wasn't actually too bad in this one. A few times that Lima did get down that side, but Rashford, to be fair to him, was bombing back on most of those occasions. So I thought his overall game, I thought he was pretty good during this one. Yes, you can criticise him for being selfish. That's something that gets brought up a lot. But he's United's main attack and out that without him, you don't get anything. I don't like how United are purely just gone into this transition-based team. I do think we need to hold the ball a lot better, create some consistent pressure, because that's when you do get the best chances to get the ball into Hoyland then. He's got his first goal now, and he looks like a proper United player. But the way this United team tries to build attacks doesn't make sense to me. We try to go from back to front far too quickly. When the counter-attack option is there, go for it. But we do that every single time. We don't know how to play any other way. We give the ball back to the opposition time and time again. And they're just clear to see Bayern were just taking the piss out of us towards the end of that game. We couldn't keep hold of it, couldn't create any pressure. When we were trying to get back into this game... But for me, you cannot take Rashford out of this team. Otherwise, there's just no attacking threat left. And then lastly, guys, I want to take note of though we're seemingly just lacking on confidence at the minute. This whole United team, as soon as we go a goal behind, immediately you can see this worries there. We don't have things go our way in the first 30 minutes and immediately there's worries. Obviously, in this one, the goalkeeping errors was a, a, something you can't really account for. Then you get that absolute VAR madness yet again. Clearly right now, things are just not going our way. We've had so many close VAR calls not going our way over the course of the season. You'd think we would get something right now. We're just not. So you had the Onana mistake. Then you had the VAR thing. And then that VAR thing was a bit of a sucker punch in this one. Just after Hoyland scored. Just as you sense United will get back into it. Then that happens. It's never a penalty. VAR should be used just for offsides, because if you're going to be given the penalties like that, the game is absolutely gone. Is Ericsson not allowed to have arms? I just don't get it. But this whole United team, there's no confidence there at the minute. It's so clear to see. We go a goal behind. There's no sense of urgency to get back into it. I don't like how passive we were in the, thir- um, the last 30 minutes. It was far too easy to- for Bayern just to knock the ball around. It was quite pathetic by these United players at times. We've had the Ole interview, obviously talking about the mental state of a lot of these United players down in tools at times. And in the Brighton game and in this Bayern Munich one, it was far too easy for the opposition just to pass it round us. With a couple of goals behind, you should be running around trying to get that ball back at every opportunity. And I just don't see that from this United team at the minute. There's a lot of problems for Ten Hag to try and fix. But we're going into that Burnley game now, obviously very low on confidence and we do need to shape up now. We cannot have anything else but to win in that game. Otherwise, it's an absolutely disastrous start by Ten Hag. Obviously, we're not blaming him currently. The injuries haven't helped. And I think after what we had in that Ollie interview, it's clear to see that the problem is higher up than Ten Hag. But... We've got to start seeing some improvements on the pitch now. We didn't actually play badly for the majority of this game up against Bayern Munich. Once again, things didn't go away. Once again, we had silly defensive errors. Ten Hag needs to cut that out. Otherwise, we're not going anywhere this season. But as always, guys, stay tuned to West Red TV for all the latest analysis, post-match, and everything surrounding United. I'll see you in the next one. (laughs) 